Hello everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day three of six days on the Equinox. And when we woke up this morning, we had changed the clocks last night. We so got we, an extra hour of sleep. We did, yeah, we got so. an extra hour of sleep. First thing we did was our daily video. And... Then we got ready and went to breakfast at the buffet. It did. That was pretty good. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. very good. Yes. Uh, they have a uh, an Eggs Benedict station. They have an omelet station. I typically get an omelet when we go to the buffet for breakfast. This time I got one of the Eggs Benedict, and it was really good. I had lox for breakfast, and it was pretty good. It was uh, one of the freshest lox I've had on a, in a buffet on a cruise ship. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And after breakfast, we went back to the cabin to gather our things and we went down to Cafe El Baccio because yesterday we were in the Cayman Islands and the ship was largely empty. And we have a lot of work to do. And we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> and we got a lot have, done. Yeah. We got a lot done. Actually, actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually we were working on our cruises. We were. Yes. <laughs> I have an Excel spreadsheet on my computer that I created and I have all the information but we've made some changes recently. The day before we came on this cruise, I was on the phone with Blue Chip for about three hours, making some adjustments and some changes. And we had about 10 cruises that we had overlapping each other with dates and we needed to move some of them. But when I called to inquire about moving them, their parameters have changed. So if we, an example, had a aqua cabin based on our play at that time, that same play today would get us a balcony. In some cases, an inside cabin because their criteria has changed. So it didn't really make sense for us to switch to a veranda or a inside cabin because we have so many cruises booked and we don't mind a veranda but we would prefer not to be in one on one of the Solstice or Millennium class ships because we don't really care for the whole main dining room experience right. anymore. And it just doesn't make sense for us to have, you know, cruises that would stay in an inside cabin or a veranda and not be able to go to blue. We enjoy it. We enjoy it very much. The Edge class uh, ships have, has the four main dining rooms and we really like that. Yeah. So. So we canceled about six cruises and got a refund for our port charges and taxes, and we moved some others. And after we finished doing that update, we went over to uh, Future Cruise because in that process of doing the update, John also updated the list that he has based on what I updated. And we found some spots for some new cruises. So we went over and we booked those. Two, two more, right? Yes, two, two, two more. Cruises, right? And after we booked the cruises in Future Cruise... We went to the casino. Right. We went early. The hours that we were in Grand Cayman were 7 a.m. to 2.30 was back on board. So the casino opened up about 3.30. We decided to go and play a little bit earlier before dinner this time because we did want to play on those machines and they're wildly popular. So we went we played in the casino for about four hours. Till seven thirty. Yeah, we did pretty good. We did. We had a we had a winning session, as they say, and we won about fifteen hundred dollars. We decided to cash out, take the money, and run. We went to dinner, and we went to Lumine. It was lovely, as always. And after Lumine, we finished dinner in enough time to be able to go to the show. Lumine has been very empty and quiet this cruise. Yes, I'm not sure why. And they said the the suites are full, so. I'm not sure why either. In any case, we have been having that back room and Luminate to ourselves mostly for the cruise, for dinner anyway. And we went to the show. The show was very entertaining. It was a young man who was a magician. But he was really funny. But he was very funny. And it was very good. I enjoyed it very much. And after the show, on our way back to the cabin, we walked through the casino to say hello to Willie and Tressa. We wanted to go to sleep 
on the earlier side because we knew that we had a busy day ahead and that brings us to today and we will tell you about today tomorrow thank you so much for watching we truly appreciate your support and as always we hope you have a wonderful day say goodbye nelly goodbye nelly